Are you tired of cash stuffing your envelopes and the zipper envelope breaks? Ugh. Are you tired of cash stuffing your envelopes and the money won't even fit? Then you need to watch this video as I show you how to make your own awesome and stylish cash envelopes using Canva and any other platform. And if you're ready, stay tuned. Hey guys, so if you want to learn how to make your own cash envelopes, I'm going to show you how using the site that I use, which is Canva. So first, I have some designs already made, so I'll get to those in a minute. But first, I want to show you just like the basic steps to do first. And I just learned through watching YouTube, but I felt like um, I had people ask me, how did you make those? And I was like, well, I think I'm going to do a video. And they were like, well, please, please, please do a video. So um, feel free to comment down below if you do it a different way. Maybe your way is easier, which will help me out tremendously. But this is just how I've learned how to do it. And hopefully, maybe I'll learn an easier way or something like that. So we are going to go into Canva. You can create an account. Um, I do have the pro version, but you can make these envelopes with the free version. You just get a little bit more, well, not a little bit, you get a lot more perks with the pro version. But if you, since we are in the budgeting community and you are, you may be on a budget, then you can definitely still use the free version. So what you want to do is you want to go to this, um, button right here that says create a design and down here if you are on a laptop now you can use your phone ipad tablet laptop desktop whichever you prefer or you have um i have done it on my phone i've done it on my ipad but i do find it easier to do it on my laptop because um you know i'll show you why in a second but you go to custom size make sure right here where it says pixels make sure you click inches first because if you try to have the dimensions of an a5 a6 or a7 envelope and you try to put it in um let's do a a6 we're gonna put 6.1 and the height um 8.27 Oh, this is um this is actually an a5 8.27 these are not the right dimensions so it won't even let you do anything and then if you try to change it to inches this is so much smaller than what you really think you're putting so just make sure you go to inches first and then let's put that in again 6.1 by 8.27 and then it will create that size for you so as you can see this is the size and then you can come over here and um, let's say you're doing a gas envelope you can go to elements you can go to type the search and you can go to gas let's type in gas and then it has all of these things now what you will see is on some of them they have this icon right here which is um telling you that you can only use this in the pro version now if you was to not have the pro version and put it on there then it would have a watermark but like this one is free Go over there. Thank you. So what you could do, and it's going to be sideways because this right side should be the top. I will move this over here. And did you see those lines pop up? Those lines tell you, these are, if I'm not mistaken, called bleed lines. They show you 
how far to go off the page. So I will put that right there and it is also centered. And then we can go to text and I will type in, let's see if you type in gas. Mm, that doesn't really do anything. But you can um, look through the text and they have some stuff here already. You can search the text, but we're not gonna take long because I don't want this video to be long. I just wanna show you how to do it. And I think let's do add a heading and we're going to bring it down and this the four arrows moves it and the circle turns it 360 degrees so you want to make sure it's at 90 you can also use this to make it bigger. And we're just gonna move it over here and do that. And we're gonna type in gas. And here you can pick a text. I really love apricots. I don't know why, but I love apricots. And if you don't wanna make it bigger from here, you can use this right in here and make it bigger. Now, say if you wanna print this and you're using white paper or white um, cardstock, you can make this background a different color. So you can click this and um, let's see. You could do yellow, purple, pink, whatever color you want and you can make it like that. So that would be placing your picture and the design and the spread. You can add designs, you can add labels, you can leave it white. Also, um, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if I do this right. Uh, no, that's okay. Okay, now you can do that. Then you would go to share and download. And you would either choose your file type and this actually explains to you why you would save it the way you would save it. So a JPEG. Okay, so it's basically telling you when you save it, what is best for saving. So JPEG is best for sharing online. PNG is best for complex images and illustrations. PDF standard is best for documents and emailing. So I would say PNG or PDF standard if you're making um, like savings challenges or things like that for digital prints only. Um, PDF print is best for printing. I would also save it as PDF print too if you're making digital or if you're printing it out yourself and using them yourself because if you, once you send it digitally, they're actually going to download it and print it. So that would be a good one too. SVG is best for web design and animations. And then you have MP4 video and a GIF. So what I am going to save it, well, I'm actually not going to save this because this was just for your purpose only, guys. But that's exactly how you would do it. Then after you download it, which you would go to home and you would go back to create a design and you would go to custom size Remember, choose your inches first and do an eight and a half by 11. Now, this is a full sheet because the paper that you're going to be printing out of your computer, out of your printer, I mean, is actually going to be eight, uh, eight and a half by 11. So what you would do is you would go to uploads 
and then go to upload file right here it will open up what you have and then me I have my actual trackers and envelope that I made for my um, zodiac scratch and save challenge and, and let's upload that other file too so I can show you right quick open it and it's going to upload the images here so you could just take this click it over here and I'm going to turn it now me as a first-time budgeter and you know making things and stuff I had to remember which way to turn it so it would be on here the correct way and it will um, you know be facing the right way when you actually print it and make the um, envelope so let's get both of them on here go to 90 thingy thingy majiggy okay and then put it on here and then let's put this now you can either drag it over there or you can double click and it'll go over oh it did it went over okay and you turn this and what you have to what I would do is I put them side by side just like this so when it prints, it's together. All you have to do is literally cut that out, fold it at the bottom, which would be the bottom of the envelope, and laminate it. Now, if you didn't want your tracker on the back of the envelope, so say if you didn't want this, Let's delete it. Oh, trash can right there. What you could do is use this, and this button means duplicate. Not the that's duplicate the page. This is duplicate the image that you have on there. It's duplicated. You could print off two of these on one page, and then you can either use white paper as the back, or you could use another piece of laminate and you would just have to make sure that you turn it inside out. So you would take your laminate piece of paper and you would cut it the size of the image that you printed. And you would turn it inside out because if you have it facing the image, when you laminate it, it will stick together but it will not stick to the outside of it. So you have to make sure you turn it inside out. But we're not gonna save this because I have something that I want to show you already. So let's close that project, close that. Now, what I'm going to show you is you can go to projects and you can create folders. So I've created folders because I kind of wanted to be um, you know, organized. That's the key. Like, I have to be organized. So, what I did was I got a new wallet that was um, an LV dupe. So, what I did was I went to create a design, got the measurements for an A7, and I created this. Went to share, and I downloaded it. Okay? Then you go to home. And again, if you were starting from brand new, fresh, you would go to create a design or you could go to custom size right here. But what I'm going to do is go here. And this is my eight and a half by 11. And I basically just went to uploads, uploaded that file over here and then dra dragged it over here or double clicked it, whichever you would like to do. So basically I have these, these are my A7 envelopes. Now, what you could do is what I should have done. Instead of having them spaced out like this, you can put them side by side like that and print it. This area right here will be the bottom of your envelope. 
So really, that's what I could have done. But I didn't have time, which I'm going to move them up now. That would be the bottom of your envelope, the middle of these two connecting. So you basically would print that off, fold it, well, cut it out, fold it, put it in the laminator if you wanted each, the back and the front to be the same design. Again, if you don't want the back to have a design and you maybe just want a clear envelope, you could definitely take one of these off and use a piece of laminate paper that is the size of this same um, design that you're going to print out. Turn it inside out so that the outside of the laminate paper, which is the glossy side, is facing the um, inside of this design. And then you laminate it and good to go. Now, I've printed mine already so we can actually get off of Canva. And, oh, that's me. Ah, hey, pretty girl. And when we come back, I'll show you guys what it looks like printed. Okay, so we have right here my LV Duke wallet that I got from um, It's a Miracle Budgeting. And I created these envelopes. Now, as you can see, <laughs> they are not the best because I am a newbie. They did kind of mess up a little bit, but, you know, trial and error, you learn. So with these, what I wanted to do was have like a little opening right here. And what I did, see, and you start, you see it starting to come apart. So what I did was I took the front and the back, I connected it together, you laminate it, and, uh-oh, there's some change in here. There is, um, yeah, you put the two backs together and you laminate it. You just insert it. But what I noticed is when I did laminate it, this lamination stuck to the, and I can tear this up because I'm about to make some new ones. As you can see, with me trying to make a cutout right here, the lamination stuck to the paper. So that wasn't a big deal to me, but I didn't like that this showed through the lamination. So what I did, or what I tried to do, was take, what I think I should have done is taken a piece of lamination and put it against here to stick to here. And then the outside of that lamination would not have stuck to this. So that's why I said it's trial and error. You live and you learn. These were messed up because I had to keep laminating and all of that good stuff. So this is kind of coming apart because it was basically it was double laminated. So, you know, but trial and error. And I had just put like a little, uh, you know, that on there. Okay. But what we're going to do, I'm going to move this out the way because we're about to make some new one is... You have it printed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the first one. Now you can use scissors or you can use a cutter. And hold one moment, I'm gonna go get the cutter and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we have our cutter right here. Sorry for moving the camera. And this is a Fiskars. Um, you can get these, and this pulls out, this is a ruler, you can get these at Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, uh, Staples, Office Depot, anywhere that sells like things like this. Great investment. Um, some are more expensive than others. I've seen like heavy metal duty guillotines and I'm like, whoo, one day, one day. But this is a great one. You can also use a pair of scissors. I am not the best with scissors, so I really do like to use this. So, what you can do is you can take it. What I like to do is first, um, and actually, I'm going to turn it this way, is put it through, 
and make them kind of smaller so you have more room to work. And I line it up. This one was given to me by an old friend of mine, an old friend, a coworker of mine. And she sold me this and a laminating machine for $15. So I was grateful for that. But you just cut it off and I can get a teeny bit closer. You wanna to try to get as close as possible. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. All right. Come on, come on. And you're just gonna cut it out. And I know this one is kinda old. I think the blade is a little old, you know? So it cuts, you know, it gets the job done, but do I think I would do better with a newer one? Maybe. But, you know, it's cutting, see? So work with what you have. So you just get it close to that. You cut it off. And I think I'm gonna go on this side one more time. One more time. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, great. Let's cut the other one out. All right. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. My Friday was awesome. I stayed at work with my kiddos. I teach two girls, by the way. I did get for a job for 15 years. I teach two girls for 12 and a half years. So, you know. With your cutter, you gonna put that to the side. And you have your two pieces. Now, what I was saying on Canva is when you lay them side by side, if they were side by side, you could have printed it like this. And then it would have been together and you could have just really folded against that crease and then you would have had an envelope. And all you would have had to do is laminate it. But because I didn't do that, you can even leave it like this and laminate it or to make things easier so it doesn't slip and slide when you have it in the laminating paper, you could take a piece of tape. and tape it together so it doesn't move in the laminating paper. Tape it together like that and put it in the laminating machine. So I'm gonna cut all of these out and I'll be right back. So we are done putting the envelopes together. And right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what you do is you take your laminating paper, okay? And this is five mil and it comes in three mil, five mil. Do not ask me what mil means because I don't know. <laughs> but what you're going to do, you know, open it. And like I said, as you can see on this side, this is the frosted side. This is the glossy side. If you were to only just have one side of this, then you would take it and you would take a piece of laminate and cut it the size of this one square rectangle. And then when you put it together, say if this was your laminate, this would be the outside and you would put it towards the inside because the glossy won't stick. The inside is meant to stick to each other. If I'm saying that backwards, let me know. One way you're supposed to flip it, I know that much. But because I want two sides to my envelope so you don't see the money, put it like this. I may do it like this, yeah. And I gave myself some space. Yeah, let's try it this way, guys. So this is the laminating machine that I have and I actually have it on the wrong setting 
I have five mil, so you're gonna put it on five mil, and when it's ready, if I'm not mistaken, the ready button will be red, and when it turns blue, that means it's ready. So what you're going to do, and I'm doing this with one hand, guys, so bear with me. You're gonna insert it into the laminator, and you see it says insert seal end of pouch. So we're going, so as you can see, it is going through the laminating machine, and I like to hold it so it doesn't move. And again, if you are making these for other people, God bless you. <laughs> I could not. But what I can do is experiment and make them on my own. And I hope this does not mess up. So let's keep watching. So as you see, well, first of all, you see this beauty. You see this. Erica Black and Blue, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we laminated them. And then you do the same thing you do as if you printed it. Put it there. Cut it out. Come on. Cut. That's why I said this one is old, it's been old, it's been used. Did I cut that? No. Okay, so there is a little bubble right here. You do not want to cut this bubble, which I think I did. I did. Darn it. I cut it. But you don't want to cut the bubble, guys, okay? But what I have done before is if I cut it, I laminate it again. So it kind of is like giving yourself extra durability, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're cutting it out. We didn't cut the bubble. And usually what I like to do is I'll get close to the bubble. Not that close, but close enough. And then go and cut with scissors just to be on the safe side, not south side, okay? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm going, this is the top. So what you can do with this is you can cut the bubble because this is going to be the opening, but you saw that, that I cut that bubble, so I made a mistake. But what you do is you can re-laminate this. So what I do is I cut the bubble here and I cut here and it basically opens like you did it the first time and then you just re-laminate this. So, Glad that that kind of happened so you can see that mistake. So if you do get close to that bubble, the side will open. The only one that you don't want, oh, I just made a mess, it's okay. The only side that you do not want to open is the top bubble, the top bubble. So as you can see here, I left space right here to hole punch. So this is the top. So instead of using this, I'm going to use, and as you can see on here, the bubble is right there. So I did cut it. I'm going to cut the top of the envelope. And that is the part that you want to open. And we're going to cut as close to the bubble as possible without popping it. This side, we can get a little closer. Yeah. This is great that I could do this video. I have my contacts in. Yay! My ankle is feeling great. Yay! So, 
your girl can see. And then you have one envelope. Now, I'm not gonna do all of the envelopes right now because I just wanna show you how to hole punch. Now, if I remember correctly, which I may not remember correctly, this hole punch, what was the last thing I hole punched? I don't remember, but make sure you look up the right measurements to hole punch, okay? And I have my wallet right here. So what you really can do, see, if this is hole punched, this will fit really good in here. These are um, a little smaller than the ones, original ones I made. So let's see. Yeah, they're about an, like a pinch smaller because these were kind of hanging out a little bit, the original ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remember. Okay, yeah, I think, th I think these were the last things I did. So there is no space in between. So I'm going to hole punch. I'm going to try this, guys, okay? Now, I can see where the holes are right here. So I'm going to push this in. And what I'm going to do is put this smack dab in the middle. And I'm going to hole punch. Let's see if that worked. That looks pretty good. And you put it in. And that looks great. Say yay. <laughs> so then what you can do is you can take, I take my um, Dymo uh, tag creator. You can press on. And this is gonna be my personal envelope for right now. So we're going to do P E. R S O N A L and then you just press print and it's going to come out the side right here and when it's done you cut it and you take it off and you can place it hmm I think I might buy some LV stickers to put on here. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it sideways like this. Well, diagonal, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Since I couldn't remake these, which I would try to remake these, but for right now, we're just gonna leave it like this. And that is it. I showed you how to make it on Canva. I showed you how to print that out and cut it out. I showed you how to laminate it and cut it out. I showed you how to hole punch it. And I showed you how to create a label to put on it. As always, if you like videos like this, please, please hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if this is some of your favorite content, learning how to make things, for yourself because you're on a budget so you may not be able to afford to purchase from an Etsy shop or a creator then don't forget to like comment and share this video because if you are interested then you know other people may be interested and why not share the wealth share the knowledge and as always I will catch you in my next video peace